Hi everyone. I just got home from the gym. I thought I'd make a little video on empaths as I've been learning. I am not just a medium and a psychic or a shamanic practitioner. I can also be called an empath. So an empath um, <clears throat> is someone who is sensitive and they can have their, you know, highly highly tuned to what's going on uh, around them right their their antennas are out and their radar is on but what i've been learning is that there's different categories of empaths so as i am an advanced psychic and pra uh, practitioner a shamanic practitioner and a medium this would fall under the category of hyper empath um, there are sometimes called uh, super empaths. Um, there's another word. Oh, I can't remember. But it's basically at the high end. So, you know, without a spirit guide or a guru, this is a double-edged sword. And so as I'm learning, when I connect to people that um, are very confused and, and upset and frightened that we trauma bond, okay? We pick up on their issues and we can see them, we can feel them, we can have dreams about them, especially if they are projecting their feelings towards you. And it can be extremely confusing. It can actually lead you to do things that you probably on your own would not decide to do which would not be good for you at that particular time or that level that you have achieved and you have to really grab a hold of yourself and decide um, you know you have to use discernment you have to use good judgment so I'm going to insert a couple of clips. One of them I found about being an empath. Um, are empaths made or are they born? Now it's in my chart, shamanic counselor. So I believe we are born an empath or we are born, you know, a narcissist or whatever, because that is the role we are going to be playing in this life. So... In working as an empath and dealing with people that have insecurities, severe insecurities, okay, like a child, but they're an adult and they're using adult, um, the adult world and all of the things that they've learned in the adult, what, adult world to escape punishment and lie and, and cheat and all the things that these adults do um, it, it's it's something that you need to be aware of okay and if you are living with someone like that and you're able to get through to someone um, then working with dialectical behavioral therapy which is what I do and have in my book a little book of affirmations these scripts for self-esteem, which I used on my son, and scripts for self-confidence, and scripts for self-love. These can actually change the thoughts that are going on. The thought process will transform. But when it comes to dealing with someone who doesn't think they have a problem, you just need to be aware of what these behaviors are and that you're picking up on them. And that if you dream the issue or it's becoming overwhelming, you have to purge yourself of the emotions, cleanse yourself, and do psychic shielding. So these are steps that I'm going to have to sit down and write uh, for people. And what I really wanted to create for my Patreon and maybe start working on a book. I actually, I bought a used monitor can you see that in the corner right there? Last week I went to a used computer shop and they had this used monitor, 23 inches, $59.
And so I went back yesterday and I bought it. All right, so that's it for now, and I will see you later.